Hey everybody, welcome back. Something I wanted to throw out there for you for the point of discussion because it's a talking point that I think kind of slipped under the radar with all that's been going on ever since Biden became president. And that was where he calls on Americans to embrace civil religion. I don't know if you saw that. And I wonder what he really means by that. Now, people will look at this most people, I think, will say, oh, he means for religious people to be civilized. That's not what it means at all. Um, unfortunately, civics is no longer taught in this country, so people don't know what civic religion is because it is political. Uh, civic religion is a religious approach towards patriotism and statehood in, in a really simple way to explain it. On the lowest end of the spectrum, you could view civic religion as the 4th of July celebration. A civic religion holiday is the 4th of July celebration. A civic religion observance is, say, the Pledge of Allegiance for those schools that are still doing it. You're required to say the Pledge of Allegiance uh, at the beginning of the day. That is counted as a type of civic religion. So he's calling on America to embrace civic religion. And I'm like, okay, so are you saying you want people to be patriotic again? Or is this a Freudian slip for something a little deeper? Because on the other end of the spectrum, when you're talking about civic religion, in its truest, purest form, you have the former Soviet Union. You have... Germany during World War II. You see where I'm going with this? You have North Korea. I mean, we all remember the images from Kim Jong-un's funeral, where everybody was required to line the streets and there was much wailing and gnashing of teeth because in a, a country, in a state that absolutely, with an iron fist, requires civic religion be practiced, where you literally worship the state, it's compulsory. They had to be out there. They had to look like they were so uh, distraught and in tears and like the end of the world was coming because if they didn't, they would have been screwed. And believe me, there's plenty of people that would rat them out for not doing it. So is that a Freudian slip for something a little bit more sinister? Or are you just saying you want to see more flag waving? <laughs> what, what is meant by that? And I'm surprised that it slipped under the radar well, I probably shouldn't be because there's so much being thrown at us so quickly, nonstop, one talking point after another, after another, after another, just cascading through social media and through the general media. There's so much to be outraged about, so much to be upset about, that something like that can just kind of, again, slip under the radar. And I wonder if anyone else caught that and what, what people think about that. So I'm just throwing it out as a talking point, something to get people going, something to think about. What did he really mean by that? And if someone asked him, would he actually be able to explain it? Would he even try to? Does he even remember saying it? Let's put it that way. So what do you people think about that? What do you guys think about him asking for America to embrace civil religion again. And on a side note, to a degree, it also bothers me even on the lowest end of the spectrum because very often people celebrate a civil type of religion without realizing even what they're doing. As I pointed out, the uh, 4th of July celebration or the guy who paints his house red, white, and blue because he's so patriotic, but when it comes time for action, he's nowhere to be found. So where exactly is he looking for us to fit in with that call? Any thoughts on the subject? Uh, please feel free to post your thoughts on the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of that. I hope you did. Something to think about, basically. It's just some food for thought. Mill it over in your mind and see what you think about this. Um, 
if you wanted to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And what more can I say but stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.